Thank you. Economic freedom in our lifetime. Economic freedom in our lifetime. Economic freedom. Thank you very much, uh, Program Director. For the sake of uh, saving your time, Program Director, all the speakers that have spoken before me have observed protocol on my behalf. <laughs> Comrades, we have encouraged, we want to thank uh, the branch of the Youth League for encouraging the investor Fort here the SRC and all stakeholders to invite the president of the ANC to come and address this lecture. The branch of ODEM of the Youth League has played a very important role because the Youth League wanted the former president to address a Youth League memorial lecture of O.R. Tambo on the 26th. And uh, we found out that there is this lecture organized by the branch, and we agreed that we must have this joint program, and the branch has successfully convinced the university to do so. Comrade Tibos, the reason the structures of the Youth League, the reason the structures of the Youth League have invited you and wanted you to speak in this lecture is because you are a well of knowledge that must never stop to flow. Because when this well of knowledge... Because when this well of knowledge stops to flow, common sense politics are going to prevail. <laughs> Society will be led from Googled research and other arrangements. And society needs a well of knowledge that will continue to flow so that South Africa must never suffer from a political drought and there must never be poverty of knowledge in this country. We have, we have encouraged our branch to do so to invite the former Comrade President, Comrade Tabumbeki here because the struggle for economic freedom is in session. The life of Comrade O.R. Tambo, a former president of the ANC who led the ANC during very difficult times, when the ANC was in exile and also when the ANC was operating an underground movement in South Africa. Comrades were all over the world. It was a very difficult moment to lead the ANC. It is not as it is today where all of us are inside the country and we can speak to each other telephonically and through other means. It was a very difficult period. And we are saying this will give impetus and inspirations to the people of South Africa because Comrade O.R. was an embodiment of moral values of the African National Congress. And the youth. And the Youth League of today, despite for fighting for economic freedom, is also fighting for the restoration of the moral values of the ANC. <laughs> Comrade O.R. is part of a group of leaders of the ANC that benefited from a seamless transition. The leadership of the ANC has always affirmed each other. Comrade Tambo took over Comrade Avret Lituli, and Comrade Tambo affirmed Comrade Nelson Mandela. Comrade Nelson Mandela affirmed Comrade Tabombeki. Comrade Tabombeki, due to reasons known to him. Comrades. Comrades. Comrade President Tabombeki, due to reasons known to him, he could not affirm the second commander of the African National Congress. I think maybe, I think maybe as society and as members of the ANC, we did not take this silent advice. We did not take the silent advice, and the organization as we move today 
is limping from one disaster to the other. The country, the country is limping from one disaster to the other. The current wild caste strikes are a reflection of inequalities in society. The struggle of economic freedom must indeed resolve these economic inequalities in South Africa. The only thing that will bring us together in this country is the economy. The NC Youth League will also be celebrating again a national rally on the 27th of this month in Bizana, the birthplace of Kumbre Tambo, to celebrate this struggle stalwart. That national rally will be addressed by the current deputy president of the ANC, whom as the youth league are saying he must be the president of the ANC. Because we believe he will be able to lead us in a correct political direction to restore the moral values of the African National Congress. The speech will be delivered by the former president. We just want to give the token of appreciation for him to agree to come and speak to South Africa. 